Hi guys, my name is Kimberly and welcome to my channel and today we're going to be doing a haul from Dollar Tree. I stopped in there because I want to see what all they um, had and there's a few things I wanted to pick up for some DIYs. So we're going to go ahead and hop right on into it and I'll show you what I got. The first item is this, um, because I don't have very many stamps and it's really, they're only a dollar, so this is a ready set stamp. It's uh, three steps to a custom uh, stamps and it shows the stamp, the block and the ink and you get two of them in there. So I grab that, and then this one right here is uh, uh, the, it's kind of like a grid, like a graph paper grid type thing. So I thought that was nice, and for a dollar, you know, stamps can be very expensive. Here's the one I really liked, so if you're into pla doing planners and journaling and all that other stuff, this is really neat. This has like a, a little flat little thing, the star and the arrow, and this is kind of like a little list, you know, your little to-do list or whatever you want to label as. So I really like that where you can just check things off, and um, that would be really good for planners and stuff, and so I thought that would be really great. For a dollar, they had a couple more, but I didn't like the other ones, so I didn't get it. Uh, I wanted to get the bigger, it was about this size right here, of the ink, and I think they had red, black, and... I don't know what the other colors was. I don't know if it was a purple or what, but I forgot to pick it up. <laughs> so I'm going to have to make another trip back. And then they have these out now. So you know it's getting time. To eat. I'm all excited because you know spring's coming. And this says, look for the angels in your life. They are everywhere. And it has these really, it has these gems in it. And a little flowers and, and leaves and cute little saying. The back looks like that. So I thought that was really super cute. So I grabbed that. Now these are typically you put them in your, uh, you know, your gardens and uh, pathways stuff like that. But I like to use these also. You can use these. You can attach like you know, get you some um, a wire and uh, use some hot glue or whatever, and, and attach little hooks or whatever. You can hang these on your wall even. But you'd have to be, make sure you really, because these do have some weight. You just have to make sure you secure it good enough. So this right here says hope, and it's really cute, and it's, it's a set, it goes with that. So I thought that was super cute. So there's that one. They had others as well, but that's the two that I really did like. And then they had these, those are really cute. These are, you can put them outside in your, um, you know, your little garden or outside on, on the wall or the, uh, anywhere you want. But I also like to use these to decorate my inside of my house as well. So this is a real pretty, it's kind of like a metallic blue and it has these little, it says welcome and it has these glass beads inside this butterfly. So I thought that was really nice. So I grabbed that one in the blue and then I turned around and grabbed one in the, oh my goodness, hold on, this hook. They, they have these hooks on them. So uh, when I put it in the bag, it came and hooked on one part and I had to put it back. All I got to do is grab out my pliers and just kind of, once I get it hooked, um, just bend it so it doesn't keep coming off. When you have it hung, it won't come off, but if you throw it in a bag, it will. And this one right here is a real pretty purple one, so I like that. I think I'll get this in my neighbor. She likes blue. I like blue too, but I thought that would cheer her up because she likes butterflies and stuff. And then they had these out. They already had their Easter's and St. Patty Days and everything like that out. But these is the um, decorative mesh. So I thought that would be really good for Easter projects, like a little wreath or something. It has this little, and it's a real pretty blue, and it has these little sparkles in there as well. I'll have to pick up some more of these, but I was just going to try to work. I never worked with that type, so I wanted to see what it does. And if I like it, I'm going to go ahead and get some more. I, they had a couple other colors as well, but that's the color that I liked. And these, I really do like these. Now, I have previous, previously bought these and like the cardboard, and the cardboard's pretty and everything. But if, if you put a lot of stuff in there, and after a while, that cardboard is probably going to wear out. So these are plastic, and it's like a flexible plastic, but it's yet yeah, it's sturdy, and it has this real pretty, it reminds me of like floral type on here, and it's it's uh, to hold your papers and stuff. But you can also use it. I've seen some videos on YouTube where they're actually using uh, these uh, for uh, their supplies and stuff. I forget. For life of me, I can't remember what they put in there, but I have to find that video and check that out again but it's really nice they might have been using their um, like maybe they used their paints or something 
when they put like the taller ones in the back and the smaller ones are front. Um, I don't really remember. Now this is kind of like, it's not exactly a hot pink, but it's not a, a light pink either. It's somewhere in between. They had the ones that's a, like a light blue, like a seafoam, in between a light seafoam green and light blue, which that's the one I wanted, but they were out of those. So I'm going to hit up my other Dollar Tree. And um, I, they have like a full set. So I grabbed a couple of these. Um, now they did have the trash can, the little mini trash cans. And then they also have a... Uh, in this that goes with the set and the little square containers and they have these containers as well so I just picked up this right here um, and it has the same um, decoration stuff so that's really cute you can just put whatever you want in there I'm just going to throw these in there for right now but I, I like these but I just don't know about the color I mean it's pretty but I'm more of, I'm more of a pastel type but um, since there's only a dollar I have like green and blue and silver, uh, metallic silver and pink of uh, spray paint. And this flexes, so I don't know if the paint will crack after a while or not. But since it's only a dollar, I might try to paint one of these just to see what turns out. If it doesn't, that's no big deal. I don't know if I'll paint either silver or the um, pink. But they're, I really like those. Really cute. But I want these, I want the whole set. I'm going to buy the whole set in the blue because. Um, oh, they also have the, um, you know, the horizontal paper, the stackables that you stack up and it holds all, all your papers and supplies. They have those as well. So, but I did I really don't have no room for that. So I didn't get that. And then, um, let me put this out of the way. They have, uh, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, there's my post-its. <laughs> Yeah, those, those are, I just always grab some of those. Those are always, always handy. They had uh, some paint supply things that I wanted to get. This is the foam roller five piece paint set for a dollar. That brush is actually decent, so I like that for like when you're going around, you know, a smaller object or something you don't want a really thick nap for. You just don't want that much texture, so I get this. And I'm going to be painting my room because. I have I went through all the pink colors and every pink color, even if it showed like a tea rose or a, a quartz rose and all this other, in my room it, they all show up baby pink, either fluorescent pink or baby pink. So I decided I am going to go with a dusty type rose, a dusty rose, medium rose type color. But then I grabbed one of these. This Dollar Tree is a great place to pick up these because you know these are great, you know you're going to be spending twice that or more for these at Walmart and places like that. And then I grabbed a little three-piece uh, paintbrush set just to be doing the edges, my edging. Now these bristles, I like these better because it's more soft and it doesn't leave as many brush strokes. But these are okay as long as you go in it lightly and just use the tip of these, then it works great. Now you will get some of these um, bristles that come out, but usually after some of the bristles come out, you just make sure you just you know, pick them off, whatever. Um, sometimes it gets on the wall, but you, you pick it out, and then it usually stops. She usually only does it a few times per brush, so uh, for a dollar, it's like, I don't care, I'll do that. Because paintbrushes are expensive, guys. And then I grabbed a little simple uh, paint tray. I have some others, but I never clean the paint out after I'm done, so that is the issue. Um, let me show you real quick and see what you guys think. Um, the paint, I, one of the paints, I'm not... I'm not set on this just yet because I have all different colors um, that I was trying, but I was trying to go for like a uh, more of a dusty type rose. And this, whatever you see in this color, is going to show up more pink. There's going to be definitely, like I already did a swatch. It shows up where this would be more tan, but on my walls, the tan, it, it will show more pink. And it's called, it's by uh, Valspar from Lowe's. It is called Pressed Blossoms. And um, let me see if I can do this without making a mess. Probably not. I don't know if I can open it. It probably will make a mess everywhere. Oh, goodness. I can't, I can't open it. But, oh, there we go. Okay, hold on. Let me open it over here. I just want you guys to see this color. Now, remember, what you see here is going to look more tan than one on my walls. Because you, you look at that, and it kind of like looks like a... I get dusty rose with a lot of tan. No, on my walls, this is the tan doesn't hardly show. It's um, I guess it's my lighting that's causing the issue. Um, it's I'm looking at it right now. There is no tan on my wall, so it just shows you how my lighting just emphasizes and it brings out all the pink. But I thought that would be a really um, one of the colors I was considering. I'm not for sure just yet, but 
I decided to go in the Rose family because it ties both rooms together. The pink would have too, but as I said, my lighting is wonky. So I think some of my lights over there is actually might be LED over um, above one area, and the rest is those halogen lights. And then for I also have the regular daylight bulbs for my camera setup. So that's the color of that. Let me leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Now, just keep in mind, it's going to be more rose and pink. There's, you're not going to see that tan because I put it on my wall. There's no, there's no tan in it. Okay, I was on a floral hunt. And guys, these are really super cute. They have all different kinds. I'll show you a few of the kinds I got. This one right here is the dogwood. And if you can see here, it is like uh, white with a touch of, it has little green leaves, but like a peaky peach uh, touch of color in there. Just a touch of color. But here's what's really cool about this. Check out the stem. It's not a regular green stem. They did this, and you can see the detail in here. It looks like little branches, little twigs. So I thought this was perfect for a DIY I had it in mind. And so I uh, picked up that one. And then they had the cherry blossom one right there, which I thought was super cute. And again, it has the same type branches. So I'll get real close so you can see. And that is perfect for what I'm wanting it for. So look up for an upcoming a DIY, kind of like you can use for Easter or spring or summer. And this right here is, what is this one called? Okay, this is a cherry blossom. So it's really pretty pink and it has a little bit of like a peachy yellow in there. And um, it's again, the same type of uh, them there it just I mean got, it really looks like sticks <laughs> that's what I really like and then they had this one they only had one of these it's a I'm trying to pronounce this delphinium but it's really pretty it reminds me of like a large lilac type thing I used to have lilac uh, trees in back growing up as a girl and um, I used to climb them and pick the flowers and give them to my mom <laughs> I was a I was a tomboy but now this one is a green branch so that is a green branch. I wish it was the other kind, but oh well. And this is a green branch as well. And here is the tag on that. It's really pretty. I needed to get some more white, but they didn't have any that I really uh, cared for. Just a couple. I have a couple more, but and so the, I thought those was pretty. It reminds me of that flower, but shorter. So I'm just gonna stick some in there. Oh, and I love these guys. Oh my goodness. These are the uh, lilies. Check these out. And that's super cute. This has a little bit of pink, a little touch of yellow in there, but it's so pretty. And it, it has the, the green, um, the green uh, stems, but that's okay. And that is really cute. So I, I really did like that. And then, oh my goodness. Then they had, I grabbed two of those. And this one right here, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Mm -mm. Not going to do it. Mm -mm. So, and but they're really pretty. They're, these are the uh, pink and it has little, the little little specks. It looks it looks kind of real. So for a dollar, guys, these, flo this, these floral arrangements are really worth it because sometimes these florals can get expensive. If you've ever been to Michael's and priced these out, then you know what I'm talking about. Now, I love these right here. Some people call them peonies, some people call them pineys. It really depends. Out in South, my family pronounces it different than we do here. I, we call them pineys. <laughs> That's what my family always called them. But but they are um, really cute. There's a pink, and, and if you can see this side, it, it has a darker pink um, in the center and a, and a lighter pink in the front. So that's cute. So I picked up three of those because that was really nice. Okay. I'm getting piled up with flowers. Okay, and here is the another one of those uh, cherry blossoms. I actually grabbed two of those. And then I grabbed actually two of the dogwoods as well. So, oh my gosh. And then I only had one of these, which I wish I had more, because I really did want it. It's magnolias. There's six of them in there, and it's really pretty. It's just the white, and inside it's like a, it has a little, little pink and stuff in there, and the green leaves. But these, this one's a really short one, but it was really cute, and it's perfect for what I have in mind for my crafts. And then they had this right here, guys. I really do love this. This was so neat. Um, they had this in two different shapes, 
and two different styles. And it has the little, it's a planner, and it's a, a tin planner. And it has the little butterflies, as you can see on there, and the flowers and everything. Now this is meant, you know, for put your flowers and stuff in. But I'm actually going to use this in my craft room, because I think it's be great for storage. Or, I don't know, if you cut off some of these flowers, which you could probably do, is just use these flowers and cut them down some and put them all in here. Get you some of that styrofoam stuff that you put in the bottom, the floral made for flowers. And you can actually make you a really cute flower arrangement for inside. So this, these stems are a little long for that right there. Those those ones are. Well, not really. Just it's just off of just a little bit, you know. You just don't, you wouldn't have to cut off much. Maybe about an inch or two of these. Um, but you couldn't use those long ones, but these little short one flowers you could. But I just thought that was so cute. I'm going to go back and get the other ones as well. Okay, um, I think that's all for this haul. I'm going to be going back to pick up some other items. And as I was leaving, they was bringing out a whole shipment, all these boxes. And I, I didn't have time to wait around because I had to do my grocery shopping yet. So I'm really excited to go back there and see what they got. And there's, I want to pick up a couple more of the white flowers and some of those blue um, storage containers and stuff like that. And see what else they got in new. So if you like DIYs and being in craft halls and Dollar Trees, in different places um, please uh, subscribe to keep up to date on all my videos and uh, give me a like and comment below let me know if you have videos as well because I would love to see them and I also just love making new friends and um, look for upcoming DIYs on these flowers and I'm really excited a little idea I have in mind to try so I hope you all have a wonderful night and I will see you in my next video bye bye